This last practical lesson is a complementary lesson to the previous one because I've noticed there's one thing I didn't show you. I was too focused on recording the course. Normally I am much more mindful about it, but as I was recording I completely forgot. Namely, when we're on the move tool and we have our original vector uh, cover design, this one here, if we scale it up or down so that it fits our book mockup, you see there might be issues this vector texture that we created with the vector brush tool will get smaller or it will get too big. So the reason why this happens, and I haven't noticed that when recording the previous lesson, is that on this uh, vector path texture, the scale with object is switched off. So when I created my duplicate, that was my original uh, cover, I created a copy that I then wanted to insert into my mockup. This um, from the stroke studio, the scale with object option was turned off. And this is what you have to be mindful of. So on one hand, it's a pretty easy fix. But if you are using a lot of uh, textures with the vector brushes in this way, it can be a bit of a pain. So you either just work on the original cover, which already has all the settings in the proper way, or there will be like a second solution that I'm gonna show you in a second. But in case you would like to work with this original cover with all the vector elements that you have drawn over here, we have the body of the teddy bear, and this is the texture that I am talking about. If it's just this texture, which in my case, this is it, this is the only element that uh, is not scaling properly, then it's a very easy fix. You just go here to the Stroke Studio and you switch on Scale with Object. So now it's toggled on. And now this texture over here, as I am from the Move tool, moving my cover design, it will scale properly, you see? So let me maybe zoom in. This will kind of follow the original design. So this would be the solution number one. Uh, let's maybe bring it back properly, okay. So solution number one will be to manually go into your folders to look for your uh, texture layer, which is here, to have it selected. Now it's switched to the note tool, but it doesn't really matter. Then you go to the stroke studio and you make sure that this is toggled on scale with object. This is option number one. Now, option number two is to export your final cover. When you think, okay, I'm done, this is my final cover, then you can already export it as a JPEG, for example, into the uh, storage of your, in my case, to the storage of my iPad. And then you can place this JPEG image into your book mockup. So when you clip to canvas, what you see when you clip out everything else this will be exported. So be mindful if there's any mistake, for example, your book cover is a little bit cut, this will also be exported. When the canvas is clipped, what you see when you want to export it, this will be exported. So be mindful of any possible mistakes. I'm gonna correct that. And then all you gotta do, okay, now that you're happy with your cover design, you go to the three vertical lines or the hamburger menu, and then you select export. Uh, you can stick with the original canvas size, which in my case is again, 4,000 pixels square. And then you hit share and you can either save it to files or I just save the image. And that means that it will be saved into the photos album. So into my camera roll of the iPad, which is okay. Later on, I tidy them up or uh, they get stuck in my albums, but I can reuse them for my social media, for example, uh, to share with my followers. And then I hit cancel. And now it's super, super easy. Can switch it off. We can go to our mockup exercise folder to our cover. And now we will be placing the JPEG image that we just exported. By the way, it was a JPEG. Let me just remind you that over here you can choose the file type can be a PNG or a JPEG. I usually stick with the JPEG. Okay, let's cancel. 
And now we can go again to the hamburger menu or the three vertical lines menu and hit place. And then place from photos and we will have to find the cover design that we just saved uh, from our device. So place from photos and there it is. So I select it and I hit add. And then I just tap onto the screen with the Apple Pencil or just with my finger. And the image is placed. Of course, I have to then go to the layers panel and I have to drag it into my cover shape. And then from the move tool, I can adjust it to my liking. And because it's a static JPEG, it doesn't include any vector elements. It will not change the shapes or the textures. Everything is safe, so to say. So these are the two ways in which you can troubleshoot in case you're having issues with scaling your uh, texture after creating your uh, illustration. Number one, you can just make sure that your original texture has the scale with object option uh, toggled on. And then number two, you can just commit to your final design. You can save it to your internal storage or to the files folder. And then you can place it. And from the layers panel, then you can manually position it within your mockup. So this is it. I'm not anticipating any further issues, but if there's anything else, do not hesitate to reach out and I'll be happy to help.